everyone today i am going to present an interesting story goodness prevails over evil this story is based on the great epic of ramayana one evening a cute little monkey chimpu was preparing to sleep he was very tired after playing the whole day so he curled up and was trying to sleep suddenly the whole place was lit up with lights and lamps there were sounds of different types so chimpu was very scared he quickly ran to wise old orangutan vipu vipu was sitting on a rock calmly and was watching the spectacle chimpu said vipu sir you are sitting quietly and the whole city is on fire i'm very scared vipu said oh my dear chimpu don't be scared today is deepavali festival that's why people are celebrating with diyas lights firecrackers so everybody is enjoying and celebrating chim po was hearing very carefully vibhu said chim po do you know we monkeys have an important role in the story of deepavali do you want to hear that story chim po was very curious to know how monkeys had played an important role in the story of deepavali so vibhu shared the story long time ago in the city of ayodhya lived a radiant king king dashrath he had three wives and four sons ram lakshman bharat and shatrughan ram was the eldest son he was married to sita sita was the princess of mithila and she was also known as mathri since ram was the eldest eldest son so king dashrat wanted him to be the king of ayodhya but his second wife kakai wanted her son to become the king of ayodhya she said rajan please send ram for an exile of 14 years and you have to make my son bharat as the king of ayodhya raja dashrath was forced to do that because once in a battlefield queen kakai saved his life at that time he promised to fulfill two of her wishes ram who was an obedient son immediately went for an exile of 14 years his wife sita and brother lakshman also decided to follow him and they also accompanied him for an exile which was of 14 years when bharat came to know about this injustice he was very sad he went to the forest and requested shri ram to come back and become the king of ayodhya but shri ram told that he had given the word to his father so he would be back after 14 years he requested bharat to go back and serve the people of ayodhya in his absence meanwhile 
King Dashrath was very heartbroken. He was very, very heartbroken due to the separation from his dearest son, Sri Ram. So, Bharat came back and he started serving the people of Ayodhya. Sri Ram with Sita ji and Lakshman ji proceeded towards Chitrakoot where they were planning to spend their remaining part of their exile which was of 14 years. So friends, I hope you like this story. Don't forget to watch part 2 of this story. Goodness prevails over evil. And if you like my stories, please subscribe and like my channel. Thank you.